The other day, during the Steam Summer Sale, I logged on and I noticed that they are streaming Counter-Strike Go competitions live from somewhere. I'm all about esports and I didn't actually see a match. Like, I didn't actually see they were between matches and you had the talking heads talking about what was going on in the match and all of that. And I think all of these guys were guys who used to play Counter-Strike. I think they're well-known gamers uh, from around the Counter-Strike world. And they're commentating on what had happened in these matches. And I'm thinking to myself, I could totally do that. And I could be less geeky about it. Like, I think I could totally pull that off. I, I think that'd be great, and I've never understood why somebody wouldn't give me a job like that working with esports or, or even like on a gaming network. Like, I look at Adam Sessler and go, I could do that. Like, I really do believe that I could be the John Madden of video games. You know, the guy that brings the games to the average person and explains it in a way that they can understand. I could do that. Granted, I would sound like I was drunk while I was doing it, but I could do it, and I could do it well. And I think that's what uh, the gaming scene needs, especially the competitive stuff, is a bunch of really approachable guys. We know there's a ton of gamers out there that watch this stuff. We know Twitch is huge, but what about like somebody that doesn't know anything about it? If they had tuned into this uh, in-between match thing and seen these commentators, they would have fallen asleep in about 30 seconds. And so I think that's what the esports industry needs is somebody to be the John Madden of esports and I'm throwing my hat into the ring. I could totally do that. My name's Jamie Jordan. Somebody give me a job. I'm out.